Welcome back. This section of the show is called Ask FPA, where you get the opportunity to ask a question. You can send your medical questions to tv at fpalex.com and include your name if you'd like for us to use it on the air. The question tonight is, I'm traveling to a foreign country this summer. What precautions should I take? Asked by Beverly Williams of Lexington, Kentucky. And here to answer that question is my next guest, Dr. David Dubach, my partner at Family Practice Associates. Welcome, Dr. Dubach. Thank you. All right, getting ready for vacation, all kinds of doing. Where, where do you start? Anything special that you want to look at? Well, first thing, you want to plan your vacation and have a wonderful time. We live in a beautiful planet. There's so many places to see. That's the most important thing. Next, you want to make sure your health status is okay. Make sure you get a checkup. Make sure your blood pressure is okay. You have, if you have any chronic conditions, that they're under good control. Some things are affected by altitude changes, like emphysema and flying. Uh, make sure you have your medicines all organized so that you can bring them on your trip if you need medications. Make sure you pack them in your carry-on bag and not in your checked luggage. Yeah, because they, they, they could get lost. Absolutely, and then you're in a world of trouble. It's good to be in good health to start with. The next phase is to check on your immunizations. You should have your ordinary immunizations that we all ha should have in the United States, including measles, mumps, rubella, tetanus, uh, uh, varicella, chickenpox, etc. Uh, you'd be surprised when you travel in other countries, particularly in the more impoverished nations, that they may not be immunized and there still may have outbreaks of measles and other types of illnesses that are relatively rare here in the United States. So you can, th there are certain <clears throat> immunizations that you might not commonly get, but could get if you're traveling. Is there an example of that or is yeah, there a place to find it? There's lots. The first thing to do is to, to check on the, the government website at cdc.gov and they have a wealth of information about what sort of immunizations you should have depending on where you travel. For instance, in um, uh, Africa, you, uh, the, in the uh, Central Africa, you probably would want a yellow fever vaccination as well in the, the central part of um, South America. Uh, there's Japanese encephalitis. There's some areas where you may need cholera vaccination like Haiti. Uh, so you need to do a little bit of homework and find out what you need. Uh, the, but you can also check in with your family doctor on what would be the best immunizations depending on where you're going in the world. Now there, there's some new diseases out there <laughs> that are getting a lot of play in the, in, in, the, um, in the press like Zika and it's not necessarily a foreign country it's here but do you want to worry about that if you travel? Yeah, it, Zika is a concern particularly if you're a pregnant woman in your first trimester because it has been linked with birth defects. Um, Zika virus has spread throughout the globe, primarily in tropical areas. Uh, for instance, it spread from, uh, has spread to southern uh, Florida, southern Texas, all the way down to Argentina when you, when you look in the western hemisphere. Uh, the rest of the world, it's in um, Central Africa, India, and a lot of the uh, Polynesian islands have the Zika virus. Is the, is mosquito spray any good? Do you take it, it? helps protect you. A good mos mosquito spray with DEET inside of it is uh, very helpful. And then you could spray your clothing with permethrin and that also helps uh, protect you from mosquitoes. Also, you may want to pay attention to what time of the day that you're out and about because the mosquitoes, depending on which type, are out at different hours of the day. Um, the um, the, the Zika virus isn't terribly harmful for anybody other than a, uh, a first trimester woman. You might get a flu-like illness that may last approximately a week and then you're going to get better. There's no specific treatment for it, but again, the, the concern is if you're a pregnant woman in her first trimester, there's a, a fair amount of risk. Okay, everybody dreads the traveler's diarrhea. What do you do to prevent it or treat it? Well, the, the first thing to do is to be careful. You, you don't want to drink the local water supply, drink bottled water. Uh, be careful when you uh, eat local foods. One of the, the best things to do is what I tell people not to do here is to eat everything deep fried. That pretty much kills all the bugs. Uh, try to stay in reputable restaurants and, and uh, uh, st stay away from uh, fresh uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, you, the rule of thumb is if it's, a, if it's a fruit that you can peel, it's probably safe. Anything else you probably should stay away from. Okay, now, if we're not going foreign <clears throat> travel and we're just going to Florida, sunscreen's probably important. Absolutely. You also want to uh, maintain uh, safety precautions. More travelers die from car accidents than all these diseases in the world, so you need to be very careful with driving. I've had some experience in driving in Italy, and I will tell you, it's, it's quite hair-raising. <laughs> 
Well, that's great information. Uh, you know, we thank you for providing that. If you're getting ready to travel, talk with your family doctor about travel medicine.